that's the president's wife, Michelle Obama. Today, she paid a visit to a girls' school in London. Rita Chakrabarty reports on one assembly they will never forget. Far from the summit, outside an inner city school, the crowds were gathering. Word had got out that Michelle Obama was coming to visit, and you could feel the buzz. Why is she important to you? Because she's the wife of the first black president in America. And that means a lot to you? Yeah. 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 So your daughter's actually, actually in, the she's school, in the school, meeting, meeting Michelle Obama. Yes, right How now. jealous are you? I'm jealous. I am jealous. Despite the secrecy and security surrounding Michelle Obama's visits, when word does get out, just look at the effect. Crowds of people lining the streets, all of them very excited, all of them hoping to catch a glimpse of the First Lady. Those inside went wild when she was announced. This was a school where many of the girls faced major disadvantages. Mrs Obama spoke to them as one. I want you to know that we have very much in common. Uh, for nothing in my life's path uh, would have predicted that I'd be standing here as the first African-American First Lady of the United States of America. There was nothing in my story that would land me here. And she echoed her husband's inspirational style, urging the girls to take charge of their own destinies. We are counting on every single one of you to be the very best that you can be. Because the world is big and it's full of challenges. And we need strong, smart, confident young women to stand up and take the reins. We know you can do it. We love you. Thank you so much. By the end, she was being mobbed. Her security men could do nothing but watch. Michelle Obama has been the G20 wife. The absence of Carla Bruni, the wife of the French president, has left her all the limelight. Her glamorous clothes and her relaxed and informal manner have charmed everyone, even the Queen, who asked her to keep in touch. Rita Chakrabarty, BBC News.